Hello, this is PV Builder 88 and well, as you saw, I I recorded this and for some reason it didn't record any of my audio that I made for this video. So anyway, I'm going to just say that I am doing well, I'm doing post commentary right now. But what what I do in this video is, is I go to Saphir Cave. So let's make it to Saphir Cave. In Saphir Cave, I actually I catch more than I thought I was going to catch. Um, I mean, I was planning on catching at least a few things, but yeah. Um, yeah, this episode though, it's probably going to be a little shorter since it is post-commentary. If it wasn't post-commentary, which I actually had some somewhat good commentary for this video, um, then I would be displaying the entire thing and it would have been a really good length video but it just decided not to record my audio so oh well I'll just have to check it next time to make sure it records audio um there's something in Bandicam that keeps changing the settings anyway well yeah there's a lot of fish in here and as soon as I make it up to this one point I I literally run right into what I'm looking for which is the king of herrings and I find two of them <laughs> is crazy so anyway I am going to go ahead and catch this king of herrings um, and speed it up and I'll see you guys in a little bit pretty big fish <laughs> and in this moment I decide you know what I'm going to take a picture of it but this is like a 21 foot fish it's crazy I only caught a bee <laughs> there's only a bee <laughs> but yeah so we got a 21 foot fish king of herrings um but yeah um I think after this basically the only thing that happens is um gonna pop up right and yeah no okay well I decided to change my bait um and yeah I'll just speed this up then as you could see it said that it was too late and it automatically sends me to this screen which shows you all the catches we caught and I got the king of herring so that's all we caught that day but still a lot of points but but the reason it shows you this is because this is directly what happens when you go straight from the water to the cruiser because since you're not really at a hotel your cruiser is your hotel so that's pretty cool and yeah and now we go to sleep and uh, and yeah of course we got this which is pretty cool it's given to those for the having their own cruiser for the first time um but yeah um so i will probably speed it up until we make it to the next fish that i am planning well not planning that i caught 
Um, so I'll see you guys in a little bit. So this next fish I was planning to catch is the coelacanth, which is actually a really cool fish. I've seen one in real life. Um, even though they are prehistoric, there are a few that are still alive today, and I managed to actually see a real coelacanth, which is really cool. Um, but yeah. Although, what I'm remembering is, at this moment, I actually don't catch the coelacanth because it doesn't even bite my bait, because I have the wrong size bait. And instead I catch some driftwood, so, um, yeah. I'll see you guys once we actually make it to the coelacanth. And now an actual coelacanth. <laughs> I mean, the last one was an actual coelacanth, but now we're actually, we have the right size bait. And it's all set. And this little coelacanth just goes straight towards the bait. And there you go. Oh man. Going way faster than a coelacanth would probably move, but it's still pretty cool. Um. So I will see you guys once we've caught this creature. Sheila can't caught for the first time. Also, this is a password fish, so you should make sure to get that password of the coelacanth plugged into your um, fishing cert we file if you want to catch this fish. But man, is it a cool fish. So, yeah. And then um, there is one more fish I catch in this video. I know there's not that many fish I caught in this video, but there's not many fish I've that are even in this cave anyway so um, I literally probably be able to catch every other fish I need to catch from this cave in one more video like I could probably just spend this episode and then next episode I'll catch like the five other fish and now we've already made it to getting to this frilled shark so that's pretty cool that's a fish that we haven't caught and the frilled shark is also one of those fish that is prehistoric or at least I've heard that people have said it's kind of a prehistoric fish that's still alive today so they, that species has just been around for a really long time for millions and millions of years just like the coelacanth um, but yeah I'll see you guys once we've caught this frilled shark And we caught the frilled shark. <laughs> it's called a frilled shark because obviously its gills stick out way farther than most sharks. So yeah. And that's actually pretty much it. So now what I do is I just I start driving back to the cruiser. Because I was trying to debate whether or not I would have enough time to catch another fish. By now I probably should have caught another fish. I don't know. I, I was doing this earlier in the morning and I was busy most of today 
so I wasn't sure if I'd had enough time. But yeah, so now all I do really is make it to the cruiser, and I will see you guys in a little bit. the rest of this video is just me showing off what we caught. We got a fine driftwood, our coelacanth, and our filled shark, which is really cool. Um, and we can end that, save that, and yeah. Now we go inside. Lovely. Also, with that white sturgeon video, I, I, when I made that video, I had no clue someone had made a video of catching the white sturgeon. I'm actually really happy that someone has. Um, but yeah, here's the filled shark. But seriously, I am very happy that someone made a video of how to catch a white sturgeon. Because, I mean, seriously, this should have been one by now, and I'm glad there is. Um, king of herrings, right here. One of the biggest fish in the game. But it's, I think... This may be like fifth on the ranking of hardest to catch, but yeah. Anyway, um, the thing is though, it's just it's just like the Wikipedia of fishies are we, um, like doesn't show very much, you know. And so I'm very glad that certain people can do that. But as you can see, there's like only five more fish, so I'll I'll catch that next episode. All those fish. Um, but yeah, and then we got our special fish in our password section. Our coelacanth. <laughs> and it's slightly sideways because, well, it's a coelacanth. It's very old. <laughs> so it's just slightly off in its swimming. <laughs> it's kind of cool. They just tend to swim sideways slightly. But yeah. Yeah. Because, although, yeah, there, there has to be... I mean, I, I really do recommend making it. If you can, try and make a series on this game. It's a fun game. Um, I just am one of the first people to make a series of this game. One of them. I'm not saying I'm the first. I'm saying I'm one of them. So, so don't get that mixed up. <laughs> because, because it's a way... Uh, anyway. Because I don't, I don't want to be like... Oh, I'm, I'm so original. Because, truthfully... As a gamer, I'm literally recording <laughs> gameplay of a game, so that's not really original. Um, but that's why I want to be an animator, so I can actually show how my originality. Anyway, I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.